Hi, Arif Fakil here. So do you end up taking a lot of screenshots? Maybe it's a slide from an online course you're attending or a meeting that you're attending, or maybe it's from a YouTube video, or just maybe when you're browsing and shopping Amazon, it's something that, hey, this is something I need to capture to let somebody know or save it for myself. But once you actually take that screenshot, where do you save and organize it? If you don't have a tool or a system in place, it can end up all over your already cluttered desktop thereby giving you stress and anxiety each time you look at your cluttered desktop or when you actually need the screenshot you're not able to find it thereby defeating the purpose of taking the screenshot in the first place so if that sounds familiar here are two really cool useful handy tools that make taking the screenshot easier organizing it and actually retrieving it really really simple so the first tool is called Sketch, and you can download it from the App Store. Here you go, what the logo looks like, the search for Sketch, and let me launch it and show you how it looks like when you launch the app. So when you launch the app, you are presented with archive or history of all the screenshots you've taken in the past. Now say I want to take a screenshot. There's this really cool artist that I follow. The, his Instagram channel is called Dinos and Comic, really meaningful comic that he's done. Just read this. This dinosaur is making a very passionate appeal to this turtle to look after the world after he's gone. And this poor turtle is giving his absolute best, his or her absolute best. Um, and you just feel so awful for what we've done to this world. This comic really touched me and I really want to share it as wide as I can. But how do I do that? I launch Sketch. When I launch Sketch, I press Command Shift 5. I get this crosshair symbol and I will then take a screenshot of this comic. There you go, I've got a nice screenshot of this comic. What I will then do, say if I want to send this by email, I will launch, uh, compose a new message, go to Sketch and then just drag and drop it in here. And this gets included in the email. If I want to include it as an attachment, I will click on the attachment symbol in this email or anywhere else really. Click and drag it to the window that pops up and it gets added as an attachment. I can even share it via WhatsApp. So say I want to share it myself. I've got a room in WhatsApp with just me in it for stuff that I want to share with myself that I just want to keep and so I can refer to. Um, so I can drag it into WhatsApp. There you go. And I can share it with myself on WhatsApp. So as you can see, it's a very handy screenshot tool. Um, very easy to take screenshots, very easy to share it. If I want to annotate something, if there's something that I liked very much, if I want to highlight, I can do that in Sketch very easily, as you can see. Now, once that's done, I can go back to this browser view of Sketch. Now, the beauty about Sketch is that Mac has its own native screenshot tool, but it doesn't organize the screenshots that you take. You are forced to save the screenshot on your desktop or some other folder. With Sketch, Sketch is part of Evernote. So every screenshot I take, is automatically saved in Evernote. So if I go to Evernote, there is automatically a folder created called Sketch. And in this folder, all the screenshots are saved over here and neatly archived as well. The beauty about Sketch and Evernote is that I've got a history of all the screenshots that I ever wanted. Second best thing about Evernote is that all of these are automatically backed up to the cloud and I can access them from all of my devices. Finally, what's really cool about Evernote also is that it's very easy to search through because Evernote has a text recognition feature. So even though it's an image, it will scan for this text, it'll recognize it and I can search through it. So if I remember any little detail about the image, I can look it up and it should come up in my search. So let's give this a go. What I remember about this is there's something to do with dinosaurs. So I'll search for Dino. And you can see it's picked up Dino from here and this comic comes up. This is another comic that I had searched earlier, so that comes up. Sketch and Evernote are very handy tools to take screenshots. It automatically organizes them for you. You can search them up really fast. And both of these are free. So if you found this handy, go ahead and download Evernote and Sketch. Really useful tools. And um, yeah, say farewell to cluttered desktops. <laughs> Till my next video, take care my friends. Goodbye.